everyone, I hope you've had a really, really good week and you're ready to have some fun this morning. Well, today we're going to be thinking about being together in community and we're going to start off with a game first of all. Now, to play this game, you need to have somebody with you. Now, I've got somebody with me who's going to come and help me play the game this morning. Now, it's a game that's a little bit like Simon Says, but instead it's Emma says. So I'll give you some instructions and you've got to do them. Okay? But each of these instructions you've got to be facing the person who's next to you because we're doing all of these things together. So are you ready? Let's have the first instruction. Emma says, March facing somebody else. Emma says, stop. Emma says, clap your hands with somebody else. in the room. Emma says, hands on your head. Emma says, wiggle your ears. Emma says, give a thumbs up to the people in the room. Emma says, rub your tummy. Emma says, smile to everybody. Cheesy grin time. Did you have some fun? Making some funny faces? Well, we're now going to sing a song. So get yourselves ready. We need a space because we're going to sing about Jesus being alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me, but on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. He died for you and me, but on day three, Jesus rose again. Jesus is alive. God loved the world, so he gave his son, Jesus is our friend, he loves everyone, God loved the world, so he gave his International Bible. And it's all about how the believers, the early disciples, formed the first church. 
Now, after Jesus died and he rose from the dead, we, met, we understood last week that he met with his disciples a few times. And what were those words that he said to them when he saw them? They're words that we use in church every week now. Have you read? Do you remember those words? Peace be with you. Let's say that together as we start off our service today. Peace be with you. Now those disciples became the first church. And they were called the believers. People around them in Jerusalem referred to them as the believers. And this story is called The Believers Share. The apostles were doing many miracles and signs and wonders. And everyone felt great respect and love for God. All the believers, they stayed together. They shared everything. They even sold some land that they owned, and they owned things together. Then they divided the money and gave it to the poor and the people who needed it. The believers met together in the temple. They worked together. They learned together. They all had the same purpose, to love God and to love others. They broke bread and ate together. They shared their food, they shared their belongings, they shared everything they had. They praised God together and they prayed for others and prayed together. More and more people could see how the early church looked after each other and looked after others. They were amazed at how these group of believers behaved. More and more people became part of the early church because they too wanted to be part of God's first community. Now that's only a short reading today, but it tells us a lot what the early church used to do. And we're going to do some craft today that's going to tell us a little bit more about what God wants his community to look like. So we're going to make one of these. God's community. So to do that, you're going to need, as always, a paper plate or a circle piece of card. You're going to need a pencil. You're going to need some crayons or some pencil crayons. You're going to need some felt tip pens, different colours. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need some glue. And then last of all, if you've got coloured paper, use coloured paper. If not, you can use white paper and decorate it. Now the first thing to do on our plate is the circle there, we're going to make that look like the globe, the world. So very carefully use your pencil and just draw some little lines to show where some land might be. Just an outline like that. Can you see? Now we're going to show the land in green. So we're just going to colour in where I've drawn my lines for the land. Okay. Colour in as much of the land as I can. And there's the land coloured in. 
And next I need to colour in the C. So I've got a blue crayon and I'm just going to colour in the C. Just as a way of showing the world. doesn't have to be exact. There we go, nearly done. And there we go. There's our world. So in the middle, I need to write some words. So I'm going to take a felt tip pen and in the middle of my world I'm going to write the word God you see God and then I'm going to write the word community because that means people together Can you see that? God's community. Now around the edge of our world is we're going to put some hand prints. And those hand prints tell us a little bit about what the early church believed was important to be part of God's community. And we start off with this one. And what was most important was for them to love God and to love each other. The next one is they prayed together and they praised God together. They were kind. They did kind things for each other and for others that weren't part of their community. They shared everything they had with those around them. And last of all, they worked together and they learned more about what God wanted them to be together. So first of all, you need to draw around your hand four times. Now you could use coloured paper, you could draw around your hand on a different piece of coloured paper, or you could use some white paper and then just colour your hand in, whatever you would like to do. Now I've used coloured paper and I've drawn around my hands and I'm going to cut them out. Now you might need a grown up to do this little bit for you because you need to use some sharp scissors. So be really careful, try and follow your pencil lines if you can. Number two.
and number three. And the last one, this lovely red one. I've chosen these bright colours because I want them to stand out to help me to remember what God wants me to be in our community. on my handprints because I'm going to write on them what it is that God wants me to be and first of all I'm going to use the red one and the first thing that God wants is for us to love each other because God's most important commandment was to love God and to love each other so I'm going to write love God And love others. Now, if you're struggling to write these, you could always ask a grown up to help you to write these out. Love God and love each other's. Now, we want to try and decorate our handprints as well. So, I just found I've got some stickers at home. So, maybe you've got some stickers somewhere and you could just use some stickers to put on your hand to decorate it. So I'm just going to put a few stickers on my hand to make it look like it's really shiny and bright. And I'm going to put some different colours on. So I've got gold stickers, gold stars, I've got some silver stars. And I've even got some coloured stars. These are just what I've got left from other activities that we've done. And there's the first one. So put it to one side and we're going to move on to the next hand. Okay, now on this hand, we're going to write about prayer because in the Bible it tells us that God's community are people who pray together. So prayer, And praise to God. That is when we have fun and we sing our songs and we tell God how much we love him. There you go. Prayer and praise to God. Now I'm going to decorate this one using the same stickers as I did on the other hand. Make it stand out a little bit. And there we go. Prayer and praise to God. The next one is about being kind. Because God wants us to be kind to everyone, whether we know them or not. To be kind and to share everything. There you go. Share everything. So let's decorate this one. With some of our shiny stickers. Now if you haven't got stickers, you could draw stars in different colours. You could decorate your hands in any way you like. You don't have to use stickers. There we go. Be kind and share everything. And last of all, we're going to do about work together work together that 
means working as a team, doing things as part of a group, rather than being on our own. And learn together. God wants us to learn about how to be good people. And we can do that by learning together. And there's our last one, learn together. So I'm just going to quickly decorate this one with some stickers. take my glue and I'm going to arrange my hands around the world and at the top I'm going to put my love God and others because that is number one that's the most important thing we can do next I'm going to put prayer and praise to God because it's important for us to be able to say thank you to God for all that he's done for us and to ask him for help when we're struggling or we know people who are struggling. Be kind and share everything is next. And last of all, work together and learn together. There we go. Just like that. So now at the moment, when we can't be together, it's really important that we spend time and we help others in any way that we possibly can. We're going to say a prayer now. So close your eyes and listen to this prayer. This is all about praying for people that are important to us. Thank you God for all my family and all my friends. I am so happy they're here with me to share my games and laughter, to talk and sing and dance and play. We all need each other's support Jesus, you help the lonely, sick and sad. Help me to see what my friends need and be there to make them glad. I can laugh with them and chatter and work the school day through, knowing I am not alone, for my best friends include me. Hope you've enjoyed that this morning and I'll see you next time for another story and something else to make. Bye.